He this is, and this is episode 11 of Brown Bag Podcast. I'm Letty. I'm Donam. Vic. And we are now talking about, I think we have to explain what an Edgar is because it means different things to different people. Yeah. We're old as fuck because the Edgars are probably 15 and 14 and 16, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But uh, what is an Edgar to us? I think I think the age limit would be like uh, 2,000 babies for uh, sure. They're like 20 years old and down, I would yeah, say. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Oh, so I passed. Imagine like a 21-year-old yeah. Edgar. They were born weird. in the year like 2000. Yeah. And sure. beyond. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What would you, how would you describe an Edgar? Like, what qualifies someone as an Edgar? It's not someone named Edgar, just FYI. Yeah, no. It could be a, named whatever, Rogelio. Uh, an Edgar is yeah. a pronoun. <laughs> yeah, an Edgar is a way to Aiden. describe a person. It's an adjective. <laughs> not Aiden. Not, I'm so sorry. I, I want your sisters to like me. I'm so sorry. I'm <laughs> so sorry. I told her last night she's going to beat your ass already. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sorry, too. I'm just kidding. Boom. Yeah, my little nephew's a little fucker. I think his name makes sense. Okay. He's a little piece of shit. But let's describe <laughs> these Edgars. Okay, so an Edgar is... A guy with the fade, a young, really nice fade, a, a, a young, yeah, okay, a young Latino male with the fade, a really top tier fade. I'm not gonna facts, lie, facts, facts. but you know they have the bangs hanging over with the lineup, right? Um, they enjoy sagging their pants, mm. uh, burning out in so vehicles. So sagging pants is back with the Edgars. Yeah, and like they got like a wow. like an MCM bell. It may or may not be real. Why not? Um, and and. And they wear like a super like, and they wear like backpacks with like spikes on them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow, this is like a clash of everything. Then. Yeah. So it feels like Hot Topic is in here. The Cholo is in yeah. here. Yeah, they ha they wear Air Force Ones, black or white, depending mm -hmm. on how they're feeling. Um, and they think they love corridos. They think. Yeah. Yeah. They because they can't dance them. Yeah, there's some oh. like like these frutolo malo. You know what I'm saying? They're like. <laughs> <laughs> is Joshua an editor? I don't know. Wait, lift up your hand. Oh, no, no, he's good. Oh, and, yeah. and, and, and they're very invested in TikTok. Okay. okay. So you. And like... Oh, nah, I don't pass the... No, uh, no, he's not. Yeah, he's I not, can't pass not. the... He's I'm not too Edgar. like... I'm too like... Like to Edgar, I'm probably not cool. Because I'm very like different. Like you're, you're more old school. I'm more old school, but young. Yeah. Okay. Young old school. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. we're old, old school. Or I'm old, old school. No, I feel like you're very tapped in with the young generation. Do you think Edgars and Taquaches are the same? Nah, like, listen, this listen. Okay, this okay, is okay is let's. Good, let's, let's yeah, let's hear it. I love it. I love where we're going. I love where we're going. <laughs> um, Taquaches are very hard to find in LA. Okay. Because a lot of people don't want to own trucks in LA. Yeah. Right? Too, too much listen gas. to my theory. It's, it's too much gas. Um, Our parking is really bad here. Yeah. Los Angeles parking is. Right, you could agree, Letty? Yeah. Well, Letty has a big home, so yeah. she has a driver. Yeah, yeah. But I would say taquaches really come more from, like, Denver. Okay. Texas. Texas. Like, like Houston. Texas, like, yeah. It comes with... Where gas is cheaper? Where gas, gas is, is cheaper. More open roads. More affordable. And and they're... Um, I would say, like, L.A. is really hard to just focus on one topic of music because we have so many when it mm -hmm. comes to, like... Um, like genres. Like genres. Our genres are so open. Yeah. When it comes to like just the R and B, the hip hop, the corridos, the I know artists, man, shout out FIFA, he's making Latino music, mm -hmm. the Sound trap, it. everything. Like everybody is like it's just it's LA's a melting pot when it comes to music. Yeah. And other places like Houston is as well, but like example, Denver, Colorado has a lot of taquaches. Mm -hmm. And Denver is what's really in Denver? What? The, the Nuggets. The Nuggets. The Broncos. <laughs> the Broncos, that's really much it, you know? So, the Taquaches are very invested over there. And, like, places like North Carolina, where they, like, mm. gas is, like, a dollar. Yeah. So, but you can be an Edgar and a Taquache at the same time. It's rare, though. Oh, okay. I didn't okay. know that. I, I, like, I, I, I mix like them both. Yeah, I feel like there, there's a lot of, uh, you know, like, cross yeah. contamination with them. Oh, yeah, Maybe. But, 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 said I love the movement. What I yeah. learned about Edgar's, and shout outs to my nephews, Nico and Sebas, because Nico is definitely, has the haircut. Mm -hmm. He plays soccer. Mm -hmm. He's cool as fuck. He gets the bitches. Oh, he's an Edgar. Yeah. But my thing is, it's like, to us as older people, it's a joke. Yeah. To them, it's a lifestyle and it's real. Yeah. And they're cool <laughs> as fuck. Yeah. Like, they see that haircut, and yeah. they don't think hilarious. They think, like, yeah, dog, good shit. Yeah. Like, so, Edgar, to us, I think we're the ones that are more misled. Like, Edgar is some cool shit. Well, I'm not misled. I'm open-minded to I the Edgar movement. I have a beef with most Edgars. Ooh, okay, why? <laughs> Explain the beef, Vic. I mean, it's not against all of them, okay. but <laughs> I've had some some 
bad experiences with them. You know, so I have like younger, I have a, a younger sister, oh, right? Mm, I have a 17 year old sister mm -hmm. and you know, she's, you know, her age. So those are the guys that are available to her. You feel me? <laughs> so she's, of course she's going to date, date them. I don't blame her. Yeah. But you know, when it goes bad, when they're like an Edgar plus a fuck boy, mm. And then, then, yeah, because I was just a fuck boy and a tagger. The oh, tagger really, oh, the tagger gets bitches, but not like the way Edgar was getting bitches. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You so know what I'm saying? With those two combined, it creates heartbreak for my sister. Mm -hmm. And that equals hands from big brother. Yeah. Yeah. You oh, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So same thing with like my little cousin. She got impregnated by a wild Edgar. <laughs> a wild Edgar? Yeah. And not domesticated? Or not what? domesticated yeah. at all. You know what I'm saying? So like that comes with its own set of issues. Uh -huh. You know, sometimes you got to rough them up at the family party are edgars and, yeah. no sabos not all edgars uh a lot of them i feel like a lot of them don't really speak spanish I but think, i don't want to cast too much judgment because i'm not okay. the best spanish speaker in the world but i ain't gonna lie look, look. No sabo, an edgar and a fuck boy all at the and same a taquache. time and a taquache? but listen edgars and taquaches always know the new shit coming up mm, yeah like trendsetter that, all the taquaches yeah, i true. follow that are my boys and are getting it cracking on the TikTok. Yeah. And they love the Mamalona and they own. All right, example. Let me give you an example. I went to Picolandia. So, and, and, and I seen the Edgars were plotting on, on the bitches. Like, they were like, I could hear them like, what the Something like little rat. <laughs> and I was like, oh, the Taquach is about to attack. <laughs> but then he started dancing and the girl wasn't fucking with it. Oh. And I was like, that's an Edgar. And then I seen, <laughs> and, then I seen and then I seen the dude, he was wearing like a fox shirt. Yeah. He had like some, he had some 501s that he could have maybe made himself. Had the botas, but, and he wasn't the most good looking guy, but you could tell he was a taquache, but he could dance mm. and got the little wedita baddie, you know set what I him, mean? Set him apart. What, a, what do we say to people actually named Edgar that are not Edgars? Similar to like Karens that are not Karens. Uh, uh, yeah, see, that's tricky. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, Karens have a bad reputation. Yeah. yeah. So what um, about Edgars? Edgars are more of a, they're kind of like a meme. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but our, our producer, Maximo, mm -hmm. very, very not much of an Edgar. But his real name is Edgar. Yeah, yeah. very, yeah. And he that's is. His, that's his slave name. And he's. <laughs> but yes, um, he, he, he embraces the movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even though he doesn't have a bow cut. Yeah. And doesn't wear MCM and yeah. it's very much just like a skater, really. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, you should be an Edgar for Halloween. That would be that cool. would be awesome. That would be hard. We should choose each other's costumes. Oh, oh my god. That's a good god. challenge. That's a good a really challenge. Good should our challenge. cost should we film our costume? Even if it's just for right here. No, should yeah. we film in our should costume? Like, one like, yeah, like yeah, we one have of to. us is going you know how they have secret Santas? We're gonna do secret Halloween costumes. Like oh. one of us chooses. I already one. have yours. Fuck. No, you don't know, you're not listening. <laughs> oh, secret Santa. Okay, okay. No one knows until yeah. the day of. I like that. So everyone just gives their sizes, and then you we're gonna put our name in the in a little whatever, and then each of us chooses, and on the day you bring in the costume, and they have to wear it. Oh, I love That's that. Just gonna be, oh my god. That's okay, gonna be awesome. viral. Shout out to us. Shout out to us. Damn. And just so you guys know, you're included, Josh Lowe, You're included, Angie. You're included, oh, Maximo. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, shout out to Edgar's G. Shout, shout out to Edgar. Edgar. Shout I out to Taquaches. This is an, an inclusive podcast. Super Not all of you guys are the same way, but there's just a few that I've come across that I don't like. But Another, another question. Yeah. Was, no, oh. I just, I fuck with y'all. Um, Taquaches is the same as the burnouts or no? Different. No, 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 no. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Taquaches are just, just they're so known for know, having the mama. If you don't know LA, Hispanic culture, you're about to get hip on this. Okay, okay. so... Right here, there is more like, oh, that was a swinger. A swinger. A swinger. Which sounds not, crazy. Yeah. Which sounds Which crazy. Sounds crazy. But, yeah, think about it. There's car clubs, man. Shout yeah. out all the car clubs that I know about. Yeah. Shout the main one, I'm, I'm going to give a shout out to the main one. Shout out to the takeovers, mm -hmm. which is what it's called, which yeah. is the takeovers. I'm, I'm, I'm not too familiar with the exact history, but I know there's yeah. like the takeover dudes, which is, you know, they, they're yeah. on Vice. If you guys want to go see their own separate documentary. Yeah. But, um, and, and there's also other car clubs, and a lot of them are are gang members, taggers, or just regular fools that like are into like um burning like burning out and like swinging their and shit. swinging their shit. That's and what then, swingers means. It yeah, doesn't swingers. mean that you will are down to fuck with your girlfriend or boyfriend or husband. Yeah, or wife. yeah. Well, no, yeah, yeah, nah. It comes swingers, and then the taquaches are more of like my mama Lona, and and you know what? I give 
Man, bro, I give it to like watch this. They took pride in their in their in their truck, even though it might not be the best truck. Yeah, it might not be the most best painted, best yeah. wheels. They take pride. They work in hard the, for their shit. Too. Yeah, and the mama, and you gotta give it to them, bro. Trucks and gas isn't cheap. Yep, and they be you know. Yeah, that's dope. Do they race? No, nah, I don't think so. Because I feel like I, I, ours was a little bit more dangerous with the racers. Like, people wanted to, like, fix up their hatchbacks and fix uh, up yeah, their, yeah. like, civics. Or oh, not the that was like the, the rice. That shit was deadly. The rice yeah. rocket era. Mm -hmm. But the Guacha movement is more about who has the best system. Got it. Los sonidos. Yeah, so if your truck is is banging and it's not doing the yeah. while a play uh, of Ya Superame by Grupo Firmes yeah. and cracking, you got the little bitties, you feel me? The if, watches, they can go to Whittier Boulevard. No. No. no, too they're a little too messy. Yeah, oh, the trucks, their Whittier. trucks aren't the, always the, clean. The low riders, Whittier is low lows. Yeah, the low but riders. Some trucks go to Whittier too. Yeah, but they're they're but playing. But it's their, rare. They're playing yeah. mellow music. Yeah. Like low riding is about like chilling. Low you know riders saying, before any of our time. You know what I'm saying? Low rider was shit is very and young and reckless. Before anyone says anything. I know these answers. I'm just helping the podcast go along. Oh, yeah, yeah. but... They're going to be like, why does Letty not know any of this? Like, yeah. okay. Oh, whose phone Who's is that? Whose phone is that? Angie? Oh, my, my computer right is open. Uh, uh, no, I don't count, G. It does count. They can't hear it. If, we, if they can't hear the music, they couldn't hear that. I'm going to put it really loud so they can hear it. Just close the... Close, fool. Give it up. He said, fool. Help me out. I really want to just stay there. Um, Erica, can you pass my wallet, please? You see it right That's there, G? Appreciate you, G. Well, yeah, There's man. like so many. See, for talking. all the people that think like <laughs> a Latino. Oh, I'm broke. Oh. <laughs> I can cash up. Cash oh, up. you know what? Gift card. Gift card time. You have all these gift cards you're not using now. Amazon? Amazon? Amazon one. I haven't used it. Amazon, 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 Amazon. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I think it's like 20 That shit is bucks. like five years That's older. Yeah, I like never used it. I'm really bad. I have like a lot of shit in here. Is it even expired? It's not expired. I promise okay. you it's not. Okay. Um. What I love to, to, I want this to show is like some people think Latino or Mexican or LA and think, oh, they're all like this and like they like this. It's like just alone with the conversation we just had, we just named probably like five different social groups. Yeah. yeah. But they all, like it's all Latino and it's all like dope. And mm -hmm. they're just all in their own. Thing. And it's we all are. like a preference. It's not like if somebody's, yeah. you know, has a mamalona, like they hate rap right. or they uh, nah, watch yeah, it, nah. doesn't not listen, do this or whatever. Yeah. It's all like just what you're. Kind of your social scene, bro. It's career. That's yeah. what it is. It's, it's it's a way of showing love. Like yeah. when when like my family makes fun of me, they go like, "Oh, you're a YouTuber." Like the, like yeah. they like yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously I don't give a fuck. You're but, a TikToker, but okay. I don't do this. <laughs> I, I, do it. I wish I could it. do Our it. Our first TikTok was that. Oh yeah, it was. <laughs> I, oh, yeah, it was. But yeah, nah, it's, it's, it's just more careers. I like. I want to see you do the TikTok where it's like your face, and then you go down, and then you're all dressed up, <laughs> like all the girls do. Oh no, yeah, and then like <laughs> fucking flip my shoe. Yeah, <laughs> and then you're in a new it's outfit. Just, it's just me and some basketball shirts and a tee like yeah. this. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, but shout out to Taquaches. Yeah, the lowrider dudes, the takeover dudes, yeah. the Whittier Boulevard dudes, yep. all of us, the yep. taggers, the taggers, yep. the gang members, the gang members, the Vicks. What yep. would you consider Vic? He's uh, more like on some pretty boy shit, huh? No, I think. Um, I don't know, but me, Denner, and Cypress are a part of whatever it is. No, <laughs> right? <laughs> I always feel. I'm like. Oh, I always feel like. You know what they are. No. They're like they're like we're like the same age they're, group. They're about to hit thirty, but could really dress. I, I I respect that. No, I don't feel like there's a name for us. I feel like it's like a, it's a great era, mm -hmm. but like it's the Fairfax era. I see in you. Mm -hmm. Sort of. But it's not Yeah, bad. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because Vic... But I don't want to call it hype beast because it's not hype beast. You, you know right? what? Like, the, I, I get that. And it's not Because Rick could really work. I mean, Rick? I mean, Vic could really work. Holy. Hey, <laughs> Vic could wear like. <laughs> Could look swaggy in a, and for a regular plain tee, but uh, she but could also look really swaggy on some like, on some like Sugar Hill. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sugar yeah. Hill. It's some new shit coming back up, huh? Oh. Yeah. Like I think you could look really fly on some like you could wear J's, but you could also still wear Bebe or BB. Oh, Bebe. Oh, Bebe. Bebe's not old school though. Is it Bebe? BB. BB. It's BB or Bebe? BB. I always read it as as Bebe. Yeah, me too. I always read it as Bebe. But it's because it's BB. Um, yeah, but but I think it's even closed down. But I get you, and I fuck with you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but let's get into Don't You Know I'm Local. So Don't You Know I'm Local, we didn't talk about this last week, so forgive us for the time on it. But 
The Dodgers recently came out with their new Mexican Heritage night jerseys, like this special mm -hmm. edition, right? And it was Los Dodgers. A lot of people were criticizing it because it wasn't Los Doyers, even though Dodgers has like a what is trademark, it trademark on Los Doyers. On Doyers. They didn't use it, even though a lot of Latinos, especially in LA, say that. It's um, an affectionate are, nickname that we have. It's like, oh, vamos a ver los Doyers. Like, it's like kind of like joking, but. Everybody knows what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Like when you were a kid and your mom would like, ¿Tú vas a una gorra de cuál equipo lo quieres? ¿Es de los Doyers? ¿Es de los Doyers? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Why, wait, why are you guys looking at me? Oh, because I went to American Heritage Night. It was a dope ass. <laughs> American, American, American Heritage Night? American Heritage Night. That's every night. Yeah, she MAGA. Imagine Duno was in MAGA. <laughs> Because the MAGA imagine, dude or like the Proud Boys dude is like some cute or some Cuban or Puerto Rican dude. No, imagine he he just uh he tagged up MAGA <laughs> like before. That would be like like imagine your name was MAGA, but and then the world changed and it became like MAGA. Oh, yeah. And like it would be oh, like the, oh, oh that fuck. one dude that's like homies for MAGA. That one dude. Oh yeah. He's like a meme. Mag Mag they always yeah. post him on like on Food Gone Wild. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he's like rapping, but he's like yeah. for MAGA. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um man, it was a dope night. It was cool because I gotta see um I haven't been to a Mexico game in a while, so I gotta see it, like the baseball edition. Like, yeah. so you know how the Dodger games? I'm pretty sure they do it at other stadiums too, but at the Dodger Stadium, they're bouncing the um the little the like beach balls, yeah. yeah, right. So everybody's going at it, and the dude all the way in the end of our like section, it like goes over the railing, and and one dude's just really drunk, having the time of his life, and he's telling everybody, "Hey, puto, but like at a Dodger oh. game, you yeah. know," and he's like. Ah, and then for the guy stands up and he chugs his beer like let me have it let me have it I know so it was very like it was it was dope it was dope to see like yeah yeah. Like it was like Mexican Carrilla. They they were playing like they played some Chalino. Chalino. Oh shit! They played fire. um oh fuck it was it the Fernandez. Yeah. I think I think they I got there like third inning. I'm, but I'm pretty sure they mentioned him like mm -hmm. being in the hospital and hopefully he recovers and all that. Oh, that's awesome. And then um they gave um Valenzuela his his props when he was he was a pitcher when the Dodgers won the World Series. So yeah, man, it was. I'm so fucking salty that I didn't go. I had bought tickets. I got, I bought the special tickets so you can get the jersey. Oh. And then last minute I got booked to like host this thing that I oh, couldn't get out someone's of. Someone's got you. You gave your tickets. I give my tickets yeah. to the homie uh, Night of the Black Second to the homie Memo. Yeah, yeah I seen him. him. Yeah. I seen. Him. But yeah, man. And and bro, it's cool about Dodger games. I I, get, I love them, it, but it could be a lot. Like I, I get sometimes I can't make it back to my seat. But it was, man, it it's was a lot of attention. It's so much that's attention. That's your demographic. When we went, we were like, everybody like demo, yeah. treated us like crazy. Like. Yeah, man. But it's, man, Dodger games are dope. If you guys haven't experienced it, y'all for sure should experience it. I love how they're, they're, um, they, they make it a, a thing to where they make sure they, they have like a Mexican heritage yeah. night and we're like, but regardless if it's not, it's always going to be yeah. a whole bunch of Latinos. Yeah. But it's nice to have that acknowledgement. Yeah, for sure. And even with the Los Dodgers things, even though they probably should have put the Y in it or whatever. Yeah. But it's still dope, the, the acknowledgement that's like, yeah, you know, we all know the story of like what happened. Right. The, the way Dodger Stadium even got there, the that, misplacement yeah. of all the Latinos and everything. Yeah. And... You know, who fills up the stadium nightly? 50,000. We have the best attendance in the major leagues right. consistently every single day. Oh, yeah, year. we do, huh? We every do. day. Every right? single day, we're around 50,000. And that's majority Latinos. Latinos, Latinos. And it's dope that it's like, okay, you guys get some acknowledgement. And not only during, you know, uh, Hispanic Heritage Month, you know, right. like towards the end of the season when nobody's really counting the games no more. Like mm -hmm. they did it like in August. Right. And giving out jerseys to the fans, like I think that was dope. And 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 they and I think the people that run the marketing are yeah, they know that the Dodgers is very upheld by Latinos. Oh, like yeah. it's very like that's kind of like our like we take pride in like bro, if you're if you're part of the Dodgers team, you're good in every hood in LA. Yeah. Like what would Dodgers Cody Bellinger? Not Eric. <laughs> okay, let's talk about Cody. that. Cody, <laughs> Eric Bellinger, my father, big dog. He, hey, he was mad at you, bro. Uh, or lying that you don't know his song. Yeah, G, I was, I, I was stressing that day. G, you feel yeah. me? I'm fighting my little bitch. You know what I mean? Oh. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, hey, I'm if, if you're ever fighting with your little bitch, you, put on some it. Eric Bellinger. <laughs> but look, it was crazy. And some some girl DM me was like, "Huh, you think you're from LA, but you're not because you don't know who Eric Bellinger is." And I was like, what? Gee, I made a mistake. It's anything to say anything and get in your face. So. But yeah, but man, Eric, I'm, man, I would love for you to be part of the Dodgers team. 
I saw your height. You're like six something. You you would be a great fit. G. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I f- and I, I feel like you should throw a first pitch one day. Yeah, he he probably has already. Honestly, yeah, maybe. Well, I think the reach of the Dodgers, even with like Latinos, like mm-hmm. in Mexicans. My dad is from Central Mexico. He's from Guanajuato, a little pueblo called Pueblo Nue- Pueblo Nuevo. He would listen to the Dodger games in Mexico. Like that's how Fucking far Vince Scully was like. It, it reached and yeah. it's like it's, yeah, it's in, as as much as the drama that's gone on yeah. the love for baseball and for the dodgers and like the mexican ethnicity is so strong Price. yeah mm-hmm. and like you can't tell my dad nothing that's his favorite team like it, yeah. like these are dreams come true for them to come out here and to witness a game yeah. that they've just listened to like they didn't even watch yeah. they listened to back there so shout out to the dodgers for that and like you said for acknowledging the powerful audience that you have within Latinos. Because imagine, imagine Dodger Stadium without Mexicans for one game. Very quiet. Man, I don't know. I love the atmosphere. I love the, I love seeing like, and and it's dope too. Because like even like what comes with daily history, obviously gang banging. You see like people just look the other way when they're with their kids, enjoying their time, eating mm. their nachos. That's, that's a good point. Like it's like yeah, there's, there's gonna be fights everywhere. There was just a fight at the Pittsburgh Steelers game. There was just a fight. There's going to be a fight everywhere. And I'm not saying L.A. is perfect because we're not. We were known we're, we're known for a long time for being just assholes to everybody yeah. that wasn't yeah. wearing a blue and white or white and blue. And we were just on yeah. some, like, on bully mode. Yeah. But, like, it's dope scene. Like, you could, bro, and you could tell, like, if you're from L.A., you could tell. And it's just, you see people with their wives, with their kids, mm-hmm. and they just give it. They look the other way because they're like, Man, we we in a place where we're gonna enjoy life and yeah and and bro, I've never seen a cholo get up and sing a whole one two yeah. th- and it's and just like pride like bro. It's just, it, it seems yeah. like it seems yeah. like Dodger Stadium, at least the actual stadium itself, maybe not the parking lot, is like a like a neutral ground? like a neutral oh, ground yeah. for for any gang banging or any like type of shit. It's like. Okay, maybe we'll handle this outside, but for now, yeah, we're let's, gonna let's enjoy root, ourselves. Root, root yeah. for the Dodgers. Like, <laughs> bro, the, the vibe is amazing. Lawyers. Los yeah. Lawyers. And I feel like their marketing team does a great job. Facts. Their captions are on point with the LA shit. Yep. They 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 book us to do the first pitch. Bro, what? Who's doing it? Me. What? Why? I play baseball. Oh my God. There's bro, if you were to You're take way that from me, too oh busy. Being in these streets to ever throw a baseball, oh, I know you. Oh wow! You, you would throw like this under. I don't want you to. I don't want you, bro. You throw. Uh, you throw in the stands. You think you deserve to throw the first pitch more than me? No, I just if we if we're like trying to get the best pitch out of us three. Yeah. That's all. That's what we're having a conversation. I'm just talking about, about the best pitch. I'm not saying who yeah. deserves it more. Echo Park kid. I deserve obviously, it more. Obviously, that would be fire. What? Oh my. Okay. Well, I'm, but before we start arguing. I feel like I I feel like I deserve it more, but as a team, I feel like we should throw three balls. They should have Justin <laughs> Actually, Turner. You know what they do do that? They yeah. Do that. Oh, okay. I was yeah. just trying to start drama. I know. <laughs> annoying as you, fuck. I just don't want you to look like Fifty Cent. Did oh, he his was really bad. Huh? So bad. Like yeah. everybody remembers. He's like all buff. Like yeah. it was all buff because he pitched crack. Yeah. He didn't have like, no time to pitch the ball. At all. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was like, you know, I I know what you was doing. Or, nah, or but I could. I promise you. Strike down the middle? Oh, my God. Curveball, G. Curveball. To Smith. Well, actually, <laughs> it's cool that you brought up 50 Cent because he, he made me think of something. He was in a recent interview, and he was talking about RIP to his mom. 50 Cent had a really tragic upbringing. His mom was with the shits, and she passed away in a fire. But she brought him up to, like, not get punked. And I think it was one time where he was about to get in. Some people were bullying him. And so she came in and he came into the house and she told him to put toys in a sock and use that as a weapon, right? And he ends up, fast forward, using that on an episode, I think it's of power. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. the Can- Book yeah. of Canaan. And yeah. so to a me, Raising Canaan. that reminded me of like, I used to live in these apartments in Glendale. And it's like, the older people don't get into it because it's like two kids fighting, but mm-hmm. you still, like I know I'm gonna back up my kids. Yeah. Like, what, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? So. I have to tell this story of one time I had like an apartment best friend and me and her got into a fight and I threw my chancla at her. Ooh. It was some shit, you know, I wonder why I got that this, modeled from. Yeah, this is what happens and at home. And her mom came through with Windex and sprayed me with Windex. <laughs> like she didn't want to hit me, but she was like going to Get away, get away, get away. And she sprayed me with Windex. She, had the why. Like, she was spraying it like this. She, she said doing Sideways? that. 
they're saying that reminded me of that. Like, yo, we really stand up for our kids in these little hood fights and these little super little kid fights. Yo, right? low key, I'll, if if some kid does something to my kid, or like, like on the playground, that's, that's way too like over the top. I'll punt a motherfucker. Yeah, but it's like you have to do it in the right way. Like it has to be like something. Nobody's looking pushing. just. No, yeah. I'll punt that motherfucker. <laughs> you, you guys know, have never had that where like you, right, little kid fighting. My sisters were like that. My mom was like, to best. They used to be like, stop fucking crying. Yeah. And like my sisters being raised like, cause my sister were raised like, man, like my dad was like, if you're going to fight, don't be putting no hair. Like you feel going to scrub or something. My sister used to knock like, <laughs> boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. They used to lock food like for real. Like, yeah. and, if, and, and if they pull hair, then they'll get the ass beat by my parents. Like mm. you, my mom would be like crying, but my dad used to be like, lock food. They used yeah. to just, but. My hom- man, shout out my homie Georgie and my homie Lucio. I remember them fighting and their moms didn't get in. Like the whole block was there. Yeah. Cause I was blessed enough to be raised in a block where everybody knew everybody, so we, everybody knew everybody yeah. sees me. Yeah. And they were like squad bunny and, and, and their parents let them fight. Damn. Like and they watched yeah. the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, if it was a fair so, like, one, if riff, it's just yeah. if it's just settling differences, like that's understandable. And to me, I don't know. Hey Josh, you've been going in and out too much, dog. We could hear that shit. What the fuck, Josh? Brown bag, bro. Yeah. Brown bag, G. No, like if my kids are, I take them to the, I take anywhere, I take them to, they're little. Mm-hmm. I'm little. They're like little right now. Yeah. They're two and three. Like I, we took them to Legoland and I went in the fucking jungle gym shit with them mm-hmm. to make sure little kids let them play because I feel like they, they're the type right now, their age and their size to get pushed out of the shit. Yeah. And so like, I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to feel if another kid tries to fight them. I'll probably Windex them. Yeah. Like, I get why that lady did that shit to me. Yeah. Why you were bigger than the other girl? No, but I threw a chocolate at her. But it's just you, you don't, like, oh yeah. my, like, fuck that. And then. You hurt my, you hurt my And seat. you know what's crazy? I never told my parents because I felt like, oh shit, she's older and she did that to me. Like, I must have done something wrong. Yeah. And so, like, the, I was just afraid, like, after that. Your mom probably would have beat her ass. Yeah, it would have been a whole thing. Yeah. When I was a kid, I had, uh, uh, my dad's had a, like, a homie and he had a son that was, like, two years younger than me. And. You, like, kicked him and shit? No, like, he would always try to, like, fuck with me, but he was younger than me, so I didn't really try to, like, hit him back or nothing. And then one day my dad is like, hey, beat his ass if he tries it again. And, and then so, like, ass? I beat his ass bad. But I felt bad because he was younger, right? Mm-hmm. So, whatever, we, me and that kid end up being, like, great friends, whatever. But <laughs> fast forward to, like, 20 years later, one day my dad is babysitting my son, and next door they have a, a younger kid. And then I come back and I was like, oh, hey, like, you know, what happened? Like, how's everything? He's like, oh, good, but, you know, Lil Vic had to whoop Jacob's ass next door. <laughs> and I'm like, it like, just happened again. Yeah. Like, and he's like, yeah, he kept trying to punk him. And I said, hey, he hits you again? Knock that motherfucker <laughs> on his ass. <laughs> you have to meet my dad because you, you'll understand. It makes like, sense. Yeah. He, yeah, he's like the most and, intimidating and, and person. Then, in and, the then world. He, and then he beat his ass. Lil Vic beat his and ass. And I asked him, I was like, what happened with, with Jacob? And he's like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> he felt bad. He felt yeah. bad, but it's like you had to do it. You have to stand up for yeah. yourself. You nah, know yeah. My, when my dad was around, I think I, I like I came home crying once, and he's like, "Man, what the fuck? I have four daughters." And like he was like, "Like, oh, you fucking girl, That's go over there." And, but then my homies, my my older homies, like they were like, "Hey, fool, you can't be a bitch, fool." Yeah. When I was like nine, ten, they're like, "You can't yeah. be a bitch, fool." And then one time, I just I think I was mad, and I socked one of the homies, and and he like, and I socked them, and they're older than me, three, four years older yeah. than me, and they were like, "See, you're not a bitch, right?" And then like that, I just feel what I... It's a, boom, boom, boom. It's a constant like testing and there's a lot of toxic masculinity oh, yeah, sure. growing up. Because I remember my dad used to, for some reason, used to like getting drunk and then cutting my hair. Like <laughs> he would be like, what? you need a haircut. Come to the back of me. Well, just try to... He, he wouldn't do a terrible job or anything. But I, like he would like be drunk. So he's like running the clippers. I'm like, stop, dad. Like, you know, yeah. a little tear comes out, you know, not because yeah. I'm crying because it just hurts. Yeah. Recently, my barber Stop crying. That. What the fuck? You know what I mean? Shit like that. And then it's like... Then you're like, he's calling you like a girl or like whatever. <laughs> and you're just like, you're, you're making it worse. And then your mom comes and they get argued. They yeah. get into argument and then they get divorced. And then yeah. like, yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 shit. Holy. God, you just said his whole life. <laughs> you feel me? That's why his hair so long. <laughs> What? My dad, dad fucked my hair up and said, "Oh, well, you always wanted to be in the army, so you're a soldier now." Oh my god! Oh, oh, god. Boy, that's, oh that's shit! Mental that's mental abuse. That's 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 why he's a, a soldier at the bar every weekend. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but you know what's crazy? That like, fool, like, but like, my dad used to fool collateral and my mom fool like for no reason, fool. And he would fool. The, the point is that we don't have a relationship, right? Like, yeah. bro, I see you like you get deported two, three times uh, every two years. So I, it's like a uh, yeah, in and back out. and forth. So one time I remember he, uh, so I got kicked out, 
And he walked in. I smoked out. He cracked out, right? <laughs> you don't fucking learn. He's telling my mom, right? No entiende. Aquí vas a estar. Le vas a recoger. You always go pick him up. And then my mom was like, ¿Y tú qué haces? Because you didn't raise him. So who are you to tell me how to raise him? He was on hush mode, dog. Yeah. My mom was going in on that food tough. Like, well, well then maybe you should have been here. Hitting, yeah. the, hitting, hitting the points. I, yeah. I, he, he over there just like, no, no, no. But my mom, my mom's the type too. When she's mad, se le sale la, like, like the, like, cause my mom's quiet, fool. She's a cat. But, but when she's mad, she on, she on like, yeah. well, shit, I'm gonna pull out your, I'm gonna yeah. pull out your car. And she was pulling them out tough. Yeah. And that fool was like on hush mode. And I was, but. How but, did you feel? How would I feel about what? Then when she, when that was happening. Honestly, if I wouldn't get in, fool, I'd be like, ah, you know, like, fool, I'm the type to like, when I feel scared of me, I'd just be like, man, eh, whatever, you're smoked out. <laughs> you're a smoker, dick. Like, you were just kind of like, like, fool, you, you smoke crack, way. Like, I'm better than you already at life. Like, you know what I mean? It's oh. so sensitive, way. It is, no. Oh, your parents loved you. It's okay, fool. <laughs> It's okay, that's why our podcast works so much. <laughs> Big friends left because of his haircut. <laughs> and that's why I get one every week now. <laughs> <laughs> your mom's gonna watch this like this. <laughs> oh, your next family reunion is gonna be awesome. <laughs> I'm actually, you know what's crazy? I'll share like even more personal shit, right? So last week, last week I come home from San Diego and I uh I go to my dad's house, right? And then I'm there, like, he just got all, like, this fish. Like, he just, like, yeah, just got, like, 20 pounds of fish, blah, blah, right? I can imagine. He's very, like, like, <laughs> well, the way you're describing your yeah. dad, I could tell, like, he's the type and will get us drunk if we go to his house. Like, we have to get drunk, Lady. Cool. Yeah. I, I'm just... So, so I'm like, yeah, dad, make us some ceviche. Come on, you know? Like, every time I'm there, I'm like, I ask him to do shit because I'm just like, it's funny because I don't live there no more. <laughs> yeah. So I can just like try to like get on his nerves and then I dip out. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, make us some ceviche, dad. Come on, I never visit. Come on, just come over. Like, and then he's like, all right, fine. So I'm hanging out with my, my little sister and then I, I go in the kitchen and my mom is there. They've been divorced. They've been for divorced for 14 years. And I'm like, are they cool? They're getting cool, but it's just like still like a mind it's fuck. It's weird to see, right? And with, with unannounced, like he's just like my, I just walk in the kitchen and mm. in my dad's kitchen, and I see my mom. I'm like, what the fuck? So anyway, long story short, like we all kicked it all day. It was nice, but now it's my sister's birthday, and so we're gonna go eat like with my mom, and then all of a sudden they're like, oh, your dad's coming. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, it's a oh, trip. What does they get back together? Man? That's what's crazy. They still love each other for sure. Of course. Oh, what three but kids? But it's funny because yeah. like y'all went through together. the like hard separations of like. They hated each other. And it's like now other. we're grown and now you guys want to be yeah. cool. Oh, but see, but see, but see, but it was hard because your little sister was a baby, huh? When they got divorced, so it was yeah. like it was a constant battle of like whatever yeah. personal mm -hmm. reasons they had. Yeah. So I, I think I think when you get divorced and you're older, it makes life so much more easier. Like it's easier to explain to your kid like, uh, what happened? I kind of want to be with your mom, and your mom don't want to be with me. It's not healthy. We're gonna separate. But when your kid is like, but why? Yeah. Why don't you love each other no more? Like it's like, oh yeah. fuck, now I gotta answer all these yeah. questions. What about you? Let me... Then then I, my parents got divorced when I was like in ninth grade, and so it oh, was really? it's still bad. Um, but I will say, my mom and my dad are so fucking cool. Like, like with each nothing. Other? They're so oh, okay. cool with each other. That's good. Like, 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 all them, line, they like, no, people will come over and still think they're together by how chill mm. they are. Like, it's like nothing. And like, they went through drama. So, yeah. like, it would be like, I could understand if they hated each other and they're just super chill. So, that's why I'm like, I, I trip out. I know that what how their dynamic is is not regular. Yeah, my yeah. homie's mom and his dad, they kick it with each other's couple. Like, my homie, <laughs> my homie was like, hey, from one time I walked in and my mom, like, was fighting with, like, I mean, my, my, my dad's new girlfriend was fighting with my dad. So she came over and got drunk with my mom and they were just talking shit about my dad together. <laughs> oh, that, like, oh, that one would be my and, worst and, nightmare. And then, and then, and then, but he was saying, like, also that my mom was giving her advice that <laughs> she maybe like, it was yeah. like, oh, yeah. you know what? This is, this is what... And yeah. they're like super cool food. Like, that's good. That's, but, that's, but that's, it's that's not cool. some healthy yeah. shit though. Like because what, what am I supposed to be forty and fucking not have a girlfriend just because you you feel me? Dog, what is that? No, it's what not is, like. But I'm like, no, no, I'm what, saying though. Like that's what he said. His parents yeah. say. Like I'm wondering what's going through that fool's mind when he sees like his next girl standing with his ex girl standing with the girl that he's fucking right now. Like oh my God. you know Dr what I'm saying? Slight skin Drake is. Not <laughs> that's a Drake line. 
Is it Drake Lane? I don't know. Yeah, you're cool with your BM, right? Yeah, we're hella cool. Oh, yeah, I seen her. Yeah. What's up, fool? This is a good transition into Drake, though. The shit. I don't know what has more beef, Drake with his exes or Drake with Kanye. Because this shit with him and Kanye is, like, never ending. Their saga of friends. You know what? They need to get down. Guys talk a lot of shit about how girls are toxic and petty. Those fools are hella petty. No, you know what it is? They need to squabble. Yeah, fools. They need to just throw throw the hands one time. What's the most you'll pay for a Drake and Kanye beat? Oh, Fuck. Oh, like a celebrity. Wait, like pay-per-view? like pay per view or in person? Okay, okay, okay. Let's pay-per-view. do. Let's do. All right, what the pay per view and in person? Okay, pay per view. Shit, I'll probably come out five hundred dollars out of pocket, bro, to watch that shit. To, for, to watch them box each other. Yeah. Okay. What in about? person. Who Jeez. would win? In person, it might drop like this two is bands. Really weird. Because like, like, that's legendary. Who would win in a fight? Between uh, I think I think Drake would win. He's a little more. I think Kanye would mi- would win the mental game. And I think Drake would win the physical game. I, I think feel like Kanye, Drake has like uh, popcorn muscles. Like it's not really real. Like he probably went to Miami to get them. <laughs> <laughs> and I just feel like something about Kanye in Chicago. He's really had a squabble, bro. Uh, like somewhere. Even if he lost it, it's still there somewhere. I, I don't think Kanye's really ever squabbled. But I think Kanye is has that level of crazy in him. That he'll black out, yeah. and, 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 and all bets off. are all bets are off. <laughs> like I feel like, like Kanye's had tantrums, and yes. that's gonna that'll that'll overtake yeah. all yeah. all of Drake's techniques like, and sweep the leg. Drake's balls and yeah. like yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. like he'll lose it in the ring, yeah. and he might get disqualified, but he'll really Drake win. Drake is gonna do right foot slide, and then Kanye's just gonna <laughs> just fucking go power on him. Drake hater. That's, it, it was just no, it was, hypothetical, I know. hypothetical. Fuck with me, dog. Yeah, fuck with me, dog. And shout out to Pusha T because you just win everything, like. Pusha wins this whole thing. Yeah. To me, that text thread is insane. Because first of all, you shouldn't have your frenemies phone number. Yeah. You could tell Kanye and Drake are frenemies. Yeah. To give context. Okay, okay. They're beefing over some new shit. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, because I'm they're, clueless. I seen the picture, yeah. but I didn't see too much that, of like. The there's a new. There's a new sign. I think it's Trippy Red's album. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. That has a Drake verse in it, and in the Drake verse, he mentions how like 40 year olds beef with him, and then he says Kanye could never do shit to me, like type of shit. And so Kanye. It was a light jab. Too. Yeah, it wasn't has, even that crazy. Kanye's on a group thread. It seems like it's with Virgil, who's like Louis Vuitton and 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 a designer Off-white. type of yeah. shit. So, and, uh, Oh, and so rich so, people shit. Yeah. All his, his circle, his immediate circle. It seems like he was on that same group chat with Drake, and Drake was telling, previous to this convo, Drake was saying, like, this is how I want this watch. He ends up getting this the watch, so there's, like, the proof that it's Drake in that convo. And so in the group chat, let's say it's, like, our brown bag podcast, all of a sudden, Kanye enter, like adds in Pusha, and then posts a photo of the Joker, and then says, like, honestly, like, I've dealt with punk, punk motherfuckers like you all my life. You're gonna go down. Like I'm, I'm gonna have so much fun with this shit. He said, "I live for this." He said, and he it was a picture of the Joker. Yeah. He said, um, "Jock." He said, "Like yeah." Jock. What did he say? Like jock nerds. Yeah. He said, well, "Cool like, you ass be jock one nerds." One or the other. Yeah, but I knew but I, I knew what he meant, meant by yeah. that. Yeah, I, 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 I see the yeah the, that one jacket, like the Letterman, the Letterman jacket. jacket, the Letterman yeah. jacket, the like best I ever had video. Drake. Like you get yeah. you get straight A's, and like and a bitch, <laughs> and like yeah, but like still. yeah, I don't know. It's, yeah. it's, I I get what he means though, because I I remember those dudes in high school and they were hella lame. Yeah, yeah, but then that happens, and I think. Put, nothing is said. I doubt that Drake said anything after that. Mm-hmm. Clearly, if Drake sees the fucking group chat with Pusha in it, he's not going to respond. He's not going to say anything. Pusha didn't even have to say anything. He's just been added. Mm-hmm. Like, But yeah. then, if I'm speculating, I think that there must have, after the Drake-Pusha beef, because remember, it ended because Drake was like, oh, I got this diss song that's like amazing and, and it would put you mm-hmm. like in the ground, but I'm not going to yeah. do it because I have like a good heart, whatever. I hate when stuff that like that. That was so weird. That's like saying you have a girlfriend that goes there to There was school. probably some treaty there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate it, dude. Like, right? Oh, my girlfriend goes to another school. She goes to another school. Yeah. You don't know her. Like, yeah. You so liar. There was probably some treaty done there. Yeah. To stop all sides yeah. from doing some I think Jay Prince had something to do with it, right? And... I think Drake must have said, okay, no one mentions anyone ever. Yeah. But Drake is very Drake is the one who mentioned it. I know a lot of people are coming at Kanye, but if Drake didn't say that in that verse, Kanye would not be doing he this shit. He did bring it back up, yeah. So it's like it's kind of like, why are you so obsessed with me? But in all of my songs, I bring up little jabs on you. And it's mm-hmm. like at one point you're gonna be like, All right, fuck you, here's your fucking Checks address. Checks over yeah. stripes, yeah, yeah, all that shit. Yeah. You think Drake is scared of the Kanye smoke, like in any way? 
I think that there, it's more than Kanye smoke. I think it comes with so much. Mm. It's a lot of behind the scenes. You know what's it's crazy is of... that they are really um, like divided on some click shit. Mm-hmm. And it seems like there's people that can play both sides, but a lot of people have to stick to their sides. Right. For example, uh, you know, Pop Smoke was an insanely popular artist before he passed away. Drake and him never collabed. It would have made sense, but politically it didn't because... Yeah. Uh, Pop Smoke was signed to Steven Victor, you know, who's Pusha T's manager. And it's like, okay, so we're not going to do business with each other, even though they're on the same exact label. Yeah. They're both on Republic. So it's like... Who both on Republic? Um, Pop Smoke and Drake were both on oh, Republic. Okay, okay. So it's like they were label mates, but they couldn't collab because of political shit. You know what I'm saying? Which Yeah, like who are the middlemen in the Kanye and Drake beef? Like who are the people that really can't say too much? I feel like there's a lot. I feel like anybody that's kind of popping right now has to, like, tread lightly. And it's like, you have to know that it's like, oh, okay, this is this side and that's that side. These it's kind of like, like, it's the like, biggest yeah. motherfucker. It's kind of like, yeah. little, all right, so, like, if just correct me if I'm wrong. Little Baby's on Donda, mm-hmm. right? He yeah. on the track list. Yeah. But Little Baby got his start from, like, one of his biggest songs is the one with Drake, right? Yeah. So like you think you think he's in the middle in the sense to where like well if you look at it like that Travis Scott Travis Scott has songs with Drake but Travis Scott is whoa. family family yeah, with yeah, yeah, Kanye yeah, yeah. like that was like a little baby paper. is too hot for anybody to tell him yeah, anything it's a feature game and like, it's money he's he's it's a, a little too play. big for anybody to yes, try to put, like do any politicking with him yeah yeah, yeah you know facts I think it's when you build a a personal relationship more yeah because I know like example I know like two people right now that they're like kind of more industry homies. Mm-hmm. In a sense to where, like, like, I'm cool, but, like, I, I really don't care about either the one. The shit that's going on? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Just in general. Like, oh, I know okay. two other people. Yeah. It's more some cool shit. But, like, I know real life homies that beef it with fools that I never beefed it with. But, like, you can't even come around, my boy. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. you never did nothing to me personal. Yeah. And, yeah, I think the homie's wrong. Like, you know, because you fools, like, example, like, I have a homie that fuck some fool that I know is like main bitch, yeah. And the homie should have not fucked this bitch, cause if the homie fucked my bitch. He would have got, he would have got taken off on too. But he's really my boy, mm-hmm. and and you feel me? And it's yeah. and it's kind of weird, cause he even brings the girl around, and I'm like, yeah, you know, uh, I see a little yeah. Yeah. But 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 you're, he's my boy, whether he's right or wrong. Yeah, it's loyalty. Yeah. It's, it, and that's between y'all, but this is my boy, fool. Yeah, like, so this is... Yeah. And, and he, and, when y'all and, settle that shit, then we can talk about yeah. it in the meantime. Yeah, and then... Good. Because when it's industry, like, radius could interview both of them. Or, like, somebody that takes pictures could take pictures of both of them because yeah. it's really industry, but when it's more close friends... Yeah. Like, I think... I have some food that I probably don't even like Vic, but Vic, my boy, but I mean, he never done nothing to me. Yeah. Yeah. But I can't never fuck with bro because Vic don't fuck with bro. What's his name? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we better than that. We cracking over here. We popping over here. Um, but you know what I mean? Yeah, no. And and Vic could have been wrong in some DMs or a text message, or he could have. Yeah. But I don't give a fuck yeah. if Vic smash on him at the club. Just know I'm gonna be kicking ribs too. You yeah. feel me? Nothing personal, but uh, you never did nothing to me, yeah. fool. But Vic said go. Um, no, but I do think that. Drake and Kanye just shouldn't be friends. Even if you guys don't hate each other, you shouldn't be homies. This is too toxic. Like, mm-hmm. y'all are too... Fun. And then, literally, Kanye has set up a, a friend group that doesn't like Drake. Mm-hmm. Pusha will never like Drake. Ever. Yeah. Ever. And yeah. this shit is real. And this is not like, yeah. okay, we're beefing one. That goes not. back to Lil yeah, Wayne. Yes, it goes to Wayne. It, go, it just goes deep. See, yeah. I don't know all that history. Yeah, it yeah. goes to Mr. Too and all that shit. It started with yeah. vape and shit. Like, it's it 2007 to, shit or like early. Literally. I was here that. Drake inherited Lil Wayne's beef with Pusha. And then Pusha was like, all right, let's go. Right? Yeah. So it's not, it didn't even start at Drake, but Drake did rile it up because he was like, all right, fuck it. Pusha's one of them fools Pusha's that like. Pusha's the shit. Yeah, no, listen, listen. I, chill, don't. I'm not. Uh, first of all, I don't care about their beef. One. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, it's, it's, it's like hip hop is, is very interesting. Yeah. But push is one of those enemies that they're your enemies, but you give it to. Yeah, Cause I have know. an enemy that I'm like, like, you know you can't. Like, yeah, like no, I have an enemy that I don't get along with, but I know bro not a bitch. Like if he yeah. were to see me, he gonna take off on me. Yeah. yeah. And if I were to see it's, him, it's a mutual respect. Yeah. yeah. Whether we, you shot my homie, I shot. I know you're not a bitch. Yeah. So I feel. I think they both you feel that about each other. Gangster. I respect their their mm-hmm. wit in it. I respect the fact that, even though we're from two different sides, I know bro 
bro gonna get off on me, he's gonna get off on me. You're yeah. both and, and, and I think that's how kinda how they see each other. Yeah. I'm I, I, I who knows? It it's probably on some super, 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 super duper I, energy. I feel like I feel like Pusha probably don't respect Drake like that. At all. Though. You yeah. don't think so? No, I Drake don't think can so. respect Pusha, but Pusha does not respect Drake. Oh, okay, Pusha I feel I, I guess. Yeah. And then also you got Kid Cudi on Kid Cudi also has a weird relationship with Kanye, but if you have Kid Cudi and you have Pusha, you can't tell me like, look, we hate this motherfucker. You're a friend oh, of me with. Oh, so Kid Cudi don't like Drake either? No, Kid, Drake dis Kid Cudi oh, yeah. super bad. He shouldn't have. Yeah, it was he did some horrible. fucked up shit to Kid Cudi. Yeah. But Kid Cudi's like the 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 nice homie who like doesn't do nothing to nobody, and like. And then Drake just it's like shit, yeah. like ma- made fun of his mental health and yeah, shit. Yeah, like, it was like, pretty fucked up. Like a, like a, like a, like a, fucking like on a song. Yeah, yeah. He he talked about how Kid Cudi went to rehab for suicidal thoughts and shit like that. Oh, and he actually dissed him. Yes. Yeah. But it's uh, like it was fucked up. Yeah, but my thing up. is, it's like if I'm Kid Cudi and I'm t- like, let's say you and Vic have some weird friend of me shit, but Vic really did some shit to me, and I'm gonna be like, dog, stop fucking talking to him. Fuck that fool. Like, even if, if I'm loyal to you, you should be loyal to me, too. He's talked so much shit about me, my family, all this bullshit, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. That's yeah. how I feel Pusha and Kid Cudi are like, Kanye, why the fuck? Like, why do you keep going back to Drake? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, so, I'm, so I'm weird. more on some, like... Stop even yeah. trying to be friends. Like, with yeah. the history, I really don't know much of it, but Kanye is for sure, like, that fake, like, homie or homegirl that you had in elementary. Like, like, like that would like I be your friend. I thought the Drake is that fake homie or homie that, if, especially if what nah, the but Kanye's are in true, the middle. No, Kanye is just no. He doesn't know how to get out of. What it. is he? Is Kanye trying to be like big bro, but be an instigator at the same time? That's Drake. Drake uh, is Drake is the one. Drake instigating is, is it. trying. I feel like Drake is tr- is constantly trying to play chess with Kanye in any way he can, and Kanye. Is keeps getting baited yeah. in. Yeah, Drake knows Kanye's triggers, yeah. and Kanye keeps reacting to Drake. Yeah, but that doesn't mean Kanye is worse than Drake. They're both fu- like siguiendo la, la for corriente. Kanye for Sony's yeah. a DP. They both. Do. <laughs> Kanye just needs to get rushed by Pusha T and Kid Cudi. Just boom, <laughs> smashed. <laughs> Honestly, look at like they might have like just to set him straight. Like, fool, well, come on. You ever think about that? What? Like how a session goes with like Kid Cudi and Kanye, and like like how they politic. Like how they just they they probably like I'm, like just, I'm ta- just making an example like let's just say it's an example you Why guys. What do you say about Kid Cudi? Because I love that. No, uh, Kid, you have to be weird to beef with Kid Cudi. Yeah, Not, yeah because sure. fool, he's one of those fools that like in school you just don't pass by a neck. Like, for he didn't do nothing. He didn't do He's nothing. not playing the game. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, exactly. Like, 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 he was not playing with nobody. Like, like I'm pretty sure people won't be mad at Kid Cudi for being friends with both of them. No, but obviously Kid he Cudi got. Kid Cudi will not be friends. No, with no, him. I'm saying yeah. if that the. Uh, yeah, because he has happen. like he's he's like a nice guy, like it seems. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 for sure. But man, it's hip hop. I we we're talking about it in the drama verse because it's interesting to us. Yeah. yeah. But Letty for sure is a little more, a little more. I love Kid Cudi. Kid Cudi's one of Cudi. Kid Cudi, <laughs> the <laughs> first rapper I stand for. Mm. Yeah. Because that was the dude that, that rapped about depression mm-hmm. in like the happiest way. Like yeah. it's like, how is your music so happy, but you're talking about the darkest shit? Mm-hmm. And, and he made you just feel like unalone in that sense. And his art covers are fire. Fire. And he's yeah. just a creative dude. He yeah. just he's here J. to create, hit him up. And he's going through some shit. Like Cuddy's going through I'll his feel, shit. Yeah. You know Kid Cuddy's uh, half Mexican. Yeah. Part, part yeah. Mexican. Yeah. yeah. His dad was like Hi- half half Mexican. Yeah. His dad is uh, his his name is uh, Scott Mescuti. Oh, so he's a black skin. He's black, right? Yeah. Black and Mexican? Yeah, he's, he, it's yeah, he's like black, black Mexican, and Native American, something like mm-hmm. that. But he also even had, yeah. Hermano. <laughs> um, yeah, but I say that to say, Kid Cudi just, he, to me, is. Shout out hip hop, by the way. He, to me, is sacred because he comes from the pe- person that went through a lot of pain. And he's using art to release that. Kind of like Mac. And help other people. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. And help other people through that shit. So then if I'm this fucking hotshot Playboy rapper and I clown him for going to rehab, like, to me, it's like, you don't do that. Like, there's just people you stay away from. Like you guys said, like, you just, just yeah. he's not a part of it. Yeah. He's not in it. Um, but yeah, I don't know how we even got here. Let's. Yeah. It's okay if it's, yeah, but definitely they should. Uh, this I hope this is all a build up to a giant versus, to where they settle it on stage, and everybody goes home and just they don't have to fuck with each other. I think after the that. stakes are too high for Kanye to do a versus with Drake. Never he might say lose. never, because we've seen Kanye Nas still calculated and Jay Z and their beef, and we thought that was. Oh like, no, I don't mean and beef versus. Okay. 
Like I don't. I you think, think there's too much tension. I just Kanye's think, too expensive. They're all expensive. Yeah, but versus they they'll fi- any they'll find all the amount of money that both of them need to yeah. make it happen. How much do you think Drake need for versus? He's gonna want a dollar more than Kanye gets. <laughs> Whatever it is. Drake is gonna want a versus Jay Z. Drake is not gonna want a versus Kanye. No, I think he would. Drake is still a rap head. Regardless of whatever his name has been tainted as or like the ghostwriter shit, mm-hmm. he is like a rap head. Like, you know why that the ghostwriter shit even matters? It cannot, like, we can have all these conversations of, like, it doesn't matter, it's bullshit or mm-hmm. whatever. It matters to Drake. Yeah. Drake wants to be the best rapper alive. Mm-hmm. He, to him, it's a chip in his armor to say that he had been ghostwritten for, even if it was one time for one song or one verse Yeah, or people one are hit. always going to put an asterisk, like steroids with baseball. Yeah. It's like Barry Bonds is like the home run king, but they're always going to say, but he was yeah. on steroids. So people look at Drake, and when you try yeah, to put him in your top five, really people are always going to be like, Drake's well, my top five. he had a ghostwriter. And people yeah. can always say that. It's, Drake for sure my true. top five. Yeah. Good for you. You agree with that, Eddie? I want to talk about this new hot dog stat that we saw in the news. Supposedly, if you eat a hot dog, it takes 36 minutes off of your life. Hey, yo. How many minutes are off of your life? <laughs> How many times have I been to the club? You eat hot dogs at the club? After the club, the ladies. Oh, oh shit! I feel like that's like more than thirty. Yeah, that's minutes. that's for sure. A the fucking good... bacon wrapped hot dog. What's double thirty six? With the seventy two. Yeah. With the. Yeah, the bacon and cebolla. Gas. You always throw it up the next morning. Yeah. You regret it. Yeah, oh, especially when you're hungover. Oh, that's the worst. You know what's my thing when I'm drunk? What? Hot Cheetos. Really? Oh. That's your craving? But the next, uh, oh, the next day? Uh, oh, my throat's shit. all burning and shit. My chest hurts. Yeah. It's just the worst. That's dude. why you sounded like that that one day on Friday. Oh, yeah. I just got a drink the day before. <laughs> oh, hot Cheetos and tequila all over. Tequila and champagne don't mix. I've been doing that a lot lately. Yeah, How same. many minutes would be shaved off of your life for this hot dog stat? Have you seen me, uh, G? Probably, I'm pretty going to die tomorrow. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> I'm, I'm just on the kidding. fucking wood. Erica, you can laugh. It was okay. She's like, oh, my God. <laughs> She's falling asleep over there. Don't mind her. <laughs> um, I feel like we need to look for the foods that add to your life. I heard so that Wings offset. takes off like seven years 3. of your 3. life. 3. minutes of your life. Something like that. What the fuck? All the good shit. Yeah. What are they get? I, I feel like this is propaganda. Who followed someone their whole life and timed it and said they ate seven hot dogs. Look at them die in an hour before this other person yeah it doesn't make like, any that's sense that's like the weirdest stat you Dude, don't there's know people that their job is to do this statue. to follow people like, around that's crazy weird researchers but we don't people. have all the factors we don't have all the information like that's mm-hmm. such a a random fact yeah. with no context in it mm-hmm. because okay yeah that guy could have ate like 1800 hot dogs mm-hmm. in his life all right Compared to the other guy, who, the other guy who ate like a thousand, and yeah. then just like you're comparing the times, but like you're not counting in probably all the raw sex this other dude had, all the cigarettes he smoked, nicotine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like all the Molly he popped. He pro- this guy with 1800 hot dogs was probably a club rat. And the other guy, like you know, he went out occasionally and shit like that. So we just don't know. It's it's, it's like unfair. Like who yeah. are we? Who are we testing? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, what do they the, look like? What's the experiment. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I you know to what? Argue with well, something right I did learn with any stat, any any survey, any anything that it's like percentage of this and yeah. that. Just know, as Latinos, we are not the focus group. The focus group is always white people, mm-hmm. and different ethnicities have a different molecular makeup and, and white people like fucking DNA love glizzies. and all this shit, yeah. right? <laughs> so like, it's even just know all of those stats and surveys. <laughs> I don't even know what you said. A glizzy? It's a hot dog. It's a hot dog. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the fucking food. Man. There's certain ways you have to eat glizzy. Okay. <laughs> you eat like that? You seen that that video when the dude's like he's eating the hot dog and he's just like covering his whole mouth while he eats it? <laughs> and the homies be like, if we're going to dodge for dodger dogs, huh? I'll be like, ah, oh, <laughs> they be going at it. And then. Dodger dogs and hot dogs are two different things. Dodger oh. dogs are like, they're, the they're taking off an hour. Hey, yo, yeah. hold on. When we went to Dodger Stadium, I had a hot dog. We had a Dodger a dog. Dodger dog? That shit did taste different. Remember they said they replaced them? That shit was kind of oh, nasty. Oh, shit. Bring back the Farmer John's, goddammit. Damn, which one did you have, though? Because now they have like a veggie yeah. Dodger Whichever dog. One? It wasn't the veggie like one. A- yeah, the glizzy. <laughs> I don't know. 
I, I ate a sideways. <laughs> I don't understand this conversation. <laughs> and oh, you guys shit. ever get pranked as a kid? Like us being guys and shit? And they would tell you like, oh yeah, bro, if you jack off, you grow hair in your arm, then you look at your hand and it's like, oh, you jack off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you grow uh, you grow hair? <laughs> hair on your palm. Yeah. You know, one of the stupidest interviews I've ever done was with The Rock. Uh-huh. And you interviewed The Rock? Yeah, I interviewed The Rock. What? He looks so, so big next to you, huh? Oh, definitely. But let me tell you the story because I felt so stupid. I have these moments where it, I just feel like, fuck, I wish I was a dude to understand. So I would go to Miami to interview him for like this new show that he has. It's like a competition show, right? And it was some kind of like, it, it was named, not Gladiator, oh, I know but, but some shit like that type of a name, yeah. right? So one of the questions I had for him was like, oh, what, what superhero was on your underwear when you were little? Mm -hmm. Weird fucking combo, but. Why'd yeah. you ask him that? She was on for Freaky sure. Vibes that day. And he said... Were you single at the moment? Like, can you please listen to me? Were you single? Yes. He said, oh, um, I had... He's like, some shit like, oh, on my underwear was Pinocchio. And he just kept growing and growing. And I was in my brain. I'm like, they don't make Pinocchio underwear. Literally, literally till later, someone told me, oh, he's talking about his dick. Like, and I was like, that's That really is weird. hilarious. But to me, I'm like, I don't understand. Like, there's these things that just go over my head. And I swear I'm smart. But that shit just, you it's guy known. talk. The whatever the sklizzy or swizzer. <laughs> yeah, or but the, the thing is, you should think. know that, like, The Rock is a horny man. He literally named himself The Rock. I didn't even <laughs> know that. And wore that Speedos related. to the ring. Like, come on. What time? What? Hey, hold on. Hold, hold the fuck on. on the Rock is not sexual. It can't be sexual. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking what about. What do you mean? I don't know. To me, it's like, smell <laughs> If I tell a girl I'm pulling up with The Rock. <laughs> With the fucking ring, yeah. dog. The fuck you better put a ring that on That too, it. but first comes the rock. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah, what time I was going to oh What time? Man, shout out Ruchin. <laughs> was it Ruchin and AZ Tyke? I heard their music video. Oh, my God, bro. There's two girls right there. Um, They're filming a scene where, like, the gun was their penis. And the oh. girls were sucking on, like, the oh. gun. I and, think I know which one you're talking and about. And brother, like, yeah, Glizzy Gators. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's it's like a meme. It's like, like a it's meme. hard to explain. Like, it's kind of innocent, but it's Just funny at the same time. The <laughs> Sideways. <laughs> it's art. I'm just gonna no, but it's for you. sure. Like, bro, I seen that in there, bro. They posted it, but the girls had no shame. They were like, and it was like. Bro, but they like it, it's, that's just in the music video, and they're like, "Yeah, fucking Glizzy Gators," <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Oh fuck!" It was one of the most funniest things I ever seen in the uh, world. Cause in my head, I'm thinking, like, "Bro, the gun go off, this bitch gonna die." You know what I mean? Yo, like, I've seen in my lifetime, I've seen way too many girls deep throw the gun. Make sure there's no bullet in the clip, like you know. You yeah, know what I mean? like, put the safety on. But no, not even the safety. You know where that's from, though? Take the clip. The off. Glizzy Gators? No, the the gun. <laughs> The gun like Jack like a blowjob. Wow, oh, from where? Spring Breakers, the movie Spring Breakers. Ah. Vanessa Hudgens is in it, I think. Yeah, and they do that. Selena Gomez is in that. Yeah, too. with the guy. What's the fool's name? Uh, James Franco. James Franco. Franco yeah. Playing they say Lizzie Gator in the movie. No, but it's that scene. Yeah. That's probably, it, were they on a bed? That's, that's where it was inspired. No, nah, no, nah, they were like on on the outside of the Airbnb in the big ass pool, and it looked nice. Okay. But it was just one of the most funniest things in the world to me. Not it was a. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, but fuck that shit. Shout out the Glizzy Gators, uh, yeah. all around the world, if and non-Glizzy Gators. If they, uh, mm. you know, watch this podcast, you are appreciated. You know what I'm saying? Drop a comment. <laughs> for you, for I, you want to talk about bad dreams? I want to talk about near-death experience. Oh god! Oh shit! Okay. Because Vic, you showed us a scar that you have on your arm. Yeah. And I didn't know that came from like a near-death experience. Yeah, I literally almost died. All right, so let me set the scene. This is 2009. This is I was nine. early June. Uh, I had a weird morning because I got up early and I went to take a shower, came out, was going to walk to school because I didn't live too far from the school um, to high school. And I was looking for my keys. I couldn't find my keys. I always have them in my top drawer. They weren't there for some reason. But I was like, fuck, I got to go to school. Right. So I go to uh, go to school, walk to school. Everything's normal. And in fifth period, my uh, what's it called? My uh, I had a substitute teacher 
And he saw me looking at my phone, and then he's like, yo, give me your phone. It's confiscated, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, this is bullshit. So I go back after school, and I'm like, yo, sorry, bro. Like, you know, my bad. I could, can I have my phone back? I really wasn't checking. I was just checking the time, blah, blah. He was being a dickhead, like substitute. Now have your parents come pick yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that shit, right? So it went to the office, and I'm like, cool. I work in the office, like fifth period or sixth period or something. Like, So I'm like, cool with them. And I'm like, yo, give me the phone. Like, you know? They're like, no, your parent has to pick it up. I'm like, man, this is bullshit. So walk home. And I don't have keys or a phone. I don't realize that until I get there. I don't have any friends with me or nothing. So I get to my house and like I'm trying to open the apartment and I'm like, fuck, nobody's nobody's in here. And I don't have any way of contacting anybody. That's the worst. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go around back to the sliding door, the sliding glass, and like try to open it, right? Because I'd done it before, I felt like. So I'm like trying to like open the the uh the glass window in the kitchen. And then I push too hard, and my hand goes through the window. And I'm wearing a long sleeve, so like a sweater. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I broke it. And I'm just like, damn, I'm being so much trouble. And then I look down at my hand, and, like, my wrist is open, like, humongously open, mm-hmm. like a gash. Like, I, just, I looked at the inside of my wrist, my hand, like, and I was, like, in shock. I was Look like, at her wrist. I was literally, like, like. Did it make you want to faint? Like, yeah, yeah, I was in shock because it didn't even hurt. It didn't hurt at all. Yeah, I looked at the inside of my hand before blood even came out. Like it was so deep, I was like, "Oh shit!" Like I literally, I was like, "Oh, I think I'm gonna die," and I don't have no phone to call the cops, to call my mom, to no nobody's home in the apartments for some reason, and I lived across the street from a church, uh, OLPH in Downey. So I walk in there, and I'm literally like, "God, save me!" Like, no joke. I'm like, I'm bleeding all over the church. And I'm like, God, please save me. But I'm also in shock. So I'm not really thinking rationally. So I'm looking at people trying to show them that I'm fucking bleeding. And everybody in that church ignores me. Nobody talks to me. The thing is this like, is like a dream. Right? So I walk in. I look at everybody. I try to, like, get somebody's attention. But I can't even really talk. I'm just like. You're like in what grade? I'm a junior in high school. So, oh damn! You would think you would like react a little better, right? When mm-hmm. you're in shock, yeah. shock, yeah, nah, nah, nah. you know what I'm saying? It's a little like, like uh, yeah. thoughts don't come no. easy. You know what I'm saying? So I walk in there and I, I finally ask this lady who looked kind of nice for a phone. And so this is 2009, and she's like, "I don't have a phone," and I'm like, "What?" And I'm like, oh, "Okay, I'm dead. Like I'm literally dead. I'm bleeding all over the fucking yeah. place. Um, I don't know what to do." Nobody's home. And then she goes, oh, wait, wait, no, I do have a phone. She digs at the bottom of her purse. Like, she didn't even use her phone, but, like, she forgot she had it, right? So she gives me the phone, and I remember my mom's number by heart. So I call my mom. I don't know why I'm not even thinking to call 911. That doesn't occur to me. I'm just like, let me call my mom. That's all you're thinking, right? I call my mom. She doesn't answer. So I give this lady back the phone, who's also... Shout out to her, but she was an idiot. Like, how do you not see a bleeding kid and not call 911 or try to take some sort yeah. of action or even call the fucking pastor yeah. who backs out his Mercedes every single morning yeah. from the driveway of the church? And so I just I walk out of the church and I just walk to my uh, like um, driveway and then I'm just going to sit there and die. Like that was literally like, I'm just going to sit here and die. Oh my God. And then the lady comes out and she's like, oh, like they're calling you back. They're calling you back. So then I, I, it's my mom. I call her and I'm just like, get me to the hospital. I couldn't even really say what was going on. So and then like my stepsisters at the time come and then they, they like wrap me up and take me to the hospital. I got like 20 something stitches all the way that down looks to like, crazy. yeah, all the way down here. Like pretty. Did much. anyone suspect that like maybe you done, did it to yourself? Because that looks like a yeah. A everybody wound thinks that people every, do when they want to like hurt them. Yeah, vertical, right? Yeah. So it's it's crazy. It was even a lot bigger than it is now. It's kind of healed up a little bit, but also I was literally less than an inch away from my artery. Oh, gross. My like, if you could see, yeah, it's literally a little <laughs> tiny. So you for bit sure would have like bled out a little tiny bit to the right. I would have died damn near instantly because of the amount of blood loss like i lost a lot of blood but i would have had no shot in hell if even an ambulance came or anything to survive if it was just a little like a centimeter to the right and it hit my artery i'll because the substitute wanted to be a weirdo right 
literally a sequ- a crazy sequence of events. Yeah. And you know what I found out? Man, later? Josh, this is your fourth time, G. What I what I found out later is that um, my mom's ex husband, who was living with us at the time, he took my keys that morning because my parent or my mom yeah. and them they got in an argument. And so my mom likes to lock him out when they get in an argument. So all that toxicness yeah. almost resulted in me dying. Like just a crazy sequence of oh, events yeah. that would have literally led, led to me to dying. Led to your death. Oh yeah. my God, I'm so glad you're here. Shout out made to it. you and your mom you feel and me? the church. You do it. Um, my tongue shit, but you know, but I think younger when I was tagging, I almost fell off a freeway once. Oh shit. That I grabbed on. You have to talk about that. Um, like, it, it's nothing really too crazy. And what's the technique that I you I think said? I was on the five, on the five going towards Avenue 26. I'm going to say off like Avenue, like right off, right there in Lincoln Heights. Mm-hmm. And I think um, I almost missed a step, but I like calmed myself. But if I would have fell, I would have died. Were you doing the thing that they call like heavens or whatever? Oh, yeah, like heaven spots. Nah, we're getting into um. We're helping the homie with a billy, if I'm not mistaken, with like a billboard. Mm. But I was like passing the paint, but I had to like step over. But it was like, so let's say I have to go from where Angie's at to Vic's at, but I have to like, let's say, hold on with like the most I can with one finger and there's like a pillar. And you're oh. on a billboard? No, no, we're on the pillar. Like, you know how the pillars, you know how there's pillars? To the billboard. No, pillars to go to the other side and then go up to the billboard. The other side of what? The freeway. Okay. So I'm like. Okay. And then that one was cool. That was like one time. And then one time over a girl. Shout out my ex. This was the love of my life. We were painting a spot. We were painting the 101 on Vermont. And Allegedly. No, I did that shit. I'm going to jump a second. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we're painting the spot on the 101. But where she's at is where like the homeless kick it. And, like, and mm-hmm. I'm like, dude, you're going to run with us. Run with us. So we, we, let's say we have to get from, you guys know how freeways are, it's like from one freeway, the car's going this way, going and then this car's going this way. Mm-hmm. I mean, car's going this way, and this car's going this way. So we're on this side. So, okay, we see the blank space, right? Me and the homies are trying to get in between both these sides. So we're here, we're trying to get here. Mm. And we're like, all right, ready? And then we see the last car go, but the cars are smashing. You know, the one-on-one, they be getting the crack, and it's yeah. like 2, 3 in the morning. So we're smashing. I'm running. And I look back, and she doesn't run. Mm. So I'm like, this is where we have to get. And my homies are like, boom. And I'm like running, and I'm like, okay. Oh, cool. it, it was like a cool little, like, little quick little sprint. But the car is, let's say, like, like on the Normandy exit. And I look back. But when I look back, I'm like, why would you ain't run? My can fell out of my pocket. Boom. So I went for And you can hear the, like for the cars beeping it sees me but i stopped for the cab but the only reason i looked back was because she didn't run yeah. with us yeah. yeah and my homie fool my, my little homie ever he grabs me like fool what the fuck but it was like pulls you out of the way of the literally car. literally like it was like a hey why you ain't run but i like i kind of it was kind of like when you're like the cops are coming for you oh the cops this way too now i gotta go back this way yeah but my can fell if my can didn't fall well if she would have ran one I would have been alive. Let's, let's, yeah, let's you keep it a alive, stack. So. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I would have, yeah. but she should have. The only reason, yeah, I would have not chipped if it was like some spot where like, but it's like food. There's a bunch of like homeless crackhead ass fools. Like, we're gonna have to beat them up. They tell you something, you know, whatever. We, yeah, we, yeah. we, we trying to, we trying to just paint the spot. We trying to get the spot cracking. It's a good spot. Tomorrow's gonna be the morning. Everybody's gonna see it. They're gonna be sending us flick. Like, hey, but we saw you on the one on one on the Vermont exit. Yeah. You know, we 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 on our tagger mode. We we yeah. want every spot. We every, get up. So yeah. we trying to get up. You feel me? But she didn't run, and she's just looking at me like, and I'm like, but I only hesitated because my camper, and then it was like, and I was like, fool. I was so like, like I was like, oh. I, I didn't even go back for it. Like, fuck it. You want to stay there? Stay there then. Yeah. And we're painting the spot, and I just hear like, do you need me to record? And I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, but use your phone. You know, pretending I was mad, but I think I was cheating. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was like a one, that was like one of those That's times crazy. where like life kind of went like quick. Like, yeah. Yeah. and if my homie didn't, if my homie didn't react the way he would have reacted, then I then I for sure would have got like shit. Fool, yeah, because I, yeah. I know a lot of tigers that died on the freeway. Yeah, especially right there. It's just treacherous. Yeah, the one-on-one is like, yeah. it's crazy active. It's like yeah. very close to the wall. 
Yeah. So you know, yeah. What about you, Lati? I feel like mine has nothing on you guys, but well, that's this good. is probably the most craziest one. It an inch from her. Artie, yeah, yeah good luck, okay. G. Good luck. I remember I was going into the freeway. It was my first time really oh, driving, driving on the freeway. And you know how the lanes go from, like, entering the freeway to one? So I was going, and then there was a big rig. And oh, I remember, sorry. like, I barely missed the big rig to go, right? And then I'm doing my, my like, my light to keep going to the, the next signal. lane. Uh-huh. So I'm it's my it's I'm new to the freeway though, so I'm going slow. And I think the big rig was just like this bitch is already there. Like so it went forward and it tapped me. It tapped me on the side. But because I like all of this was new to me. Like I'm driving slow into the next thing and the big rig taps me and I just I press the gas and I'm just fucking going in every lane, You're like swinging. circling, circling, oh, circling. Fuck. And I'm hitting a car in every lane. So imagine like the first oh, lane shit. all the way to the That's end like lane. That's my worst nightmare. And Loki, I hear my grandma, and I swear to God, it was my grandma's passed away and she was passed away at the time. But I hear her saying, Ya frena. And I, which means press the brake. Break, yeah. And so I just remember as I'm going, I hear cars hitting me. Like I hear myself hitting a car. Oh, oh so you cause like a big commotion. Yeah. So like the next lane, I hit a car, and then it turns me. In the next lane, I hit a car, and then I just hear her saying "Ya frena." And when I, when she did, I was opposite of the the oncoming traffic, but all the way on the shoulder. But I know if I didn't break, I would have went over to the next the oh. next thing, and I would have definitely died. And then to me, then I'm thinking. Oh my god! I probably fucking killed someone yeah. because the amount of cars that I hit, some shit happened. Yeah, everyone was fine. I was fine. Like that shit was insane to by me. The grace of god. How I did not go or like, over or flip. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was expecting next. Cause I had my shit on the gas. I, you don't know what to do. No one like prepares yeah, you for this. Is how you act during an accident. Yeah, nah, and nah, that shit sure. was so fucking scary. To but me. shit, honestly, though, because you were going pretty fast, right? You're entering the freeway. What? So no, you're like I was a, going slow. So you're like oh. I was fifty. I, was, the, I feel like I was going slower than the 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 bigger than he was getting annoyed. But like it was my first time. It was yeah, like, but did he stop? Yeah, he stopped. They he all knew stopped. Was, he knew it was like his fault. Yeah, he knew it was his oh. fault. But with big rigs, they have hella good insurance. They don't care. Like if they crash. They're not gonna be crazy liable. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like their companies are cool. Like they're built to make these types of, like get off with these types of yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But I was more scared because the other people that I hit is not his fault. Yeah. I feel like it would be my fault. Yeah. Because I kept the I kept my foot on the gas. El que pega paga. Yeah, and I was just so fucking afraid. And they they even saw it because they saw that like, he hit me on the side, and so it would it would, it would just go with the thing that I'm going and I'm moving, and he just went forward like yeah. he was just over it like hurry up bitch like get on and i just didn't know how to handle being tapped like that yeah. which i don't think anyone would it's fucking yeah, scary and, and since then, then big rigs scare the fuck and out then of me. to be honest if you would have if you would have broke right away you would have flipped because your car had too much yeah. even though you were going oh, like yeah. maybe yeah. 40 50 that's, still, that's yeah. fast yeah, yeah. yeah. you would have broke your car would have like it would have bounced and you would have just you really would have you would probably where your car would have yeah. landed on another car yeah, that shit's insane. Hey, so maybe this is super dark. You guys ever wonder if we actually did die when that happened? Oh my god! No, he's saying like if we actually and this did is die. Yeah. Cause my life is good. And I always think like, like others. I always be like, Have you seen the movie The Others? Yeah. They're actually dead, but they don't know that they're dead. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. No. Or like in Sixth Sense. <laughs> Sixth when Sense. It's like I see dead people, and then it's like, oh shit, that guy wasn't oh, dead for shit. a single time. Questioning reality. Yeah. I hate when I do that. <laughs> it just blew his mind. What if I? What if that can didn't drop? <laughs> Do you believe in angels though? That makes me believe in angels because of how Hell my grandma yeah. was. Fuck it. Fuck. Hell oh yeah. yeah, I for sure do. I for sure. I think, man. I remember her the next day we're in school and she was like, "Hey, you know you could have died, right?" I'm like, "Yeah, bitch, I know." No, nah, just because so, you didn't want to. I, de- I definitely do. Uh, I'm named. My middle name is Salvador, right? I'm named after actually two dead people that died the year I was born. Like mm. a few months before I was uh, like family was members. Born. It was yeah. It was my mom's brother, her older brother. His name was Salvador Chava, and then my dad's very best friend in the entire world. They just both happened to be named Salvador, wow. and they both died in ninety uh, one, um, the year before. Like just a few months. Yeah. You know, my mom was already pregnant during both of the deaths. Yeah. With me. Chava's a great name. I love that nickname. That's um, always so sad when so, you're like. So I'm pretty sure your dad really wished his best friend could have met you. Yeah. yeah, like I'm pretty sure, like, like, like I don't know how I would feel, like, my, like my homie Sovic, I'm gonna be his son's um godfather. Yeah, and he was like, yeah, fool, like you know, like I'm like, oh shit, that, that would be yeah. weird, like, 
You yeah. know, like if my son never would, never got to meet yeah. him. But my mom always says like you have angels looking out for you. Like you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Both. That's of real. Way. I think that's real. I think it's real too. I think it's real too. It trips me out. Like even my youngest, he's named after Nipsey. His middle name is Ermius. That's so dope. And literally, like I was with Nip like two weeks before he passed, and he was just focused on the baby. He was focused, like, how many months are you? Like, and at that point, it's a trip because I tell everybody, my youngest, I was like, I feel like I'm pregnant with Gandhi because I had two pregnancies before, and both of those fools were, like, a lot in my stomach. I feel like my youngest was just chilling, like, all right, tell me when you want me to, like, come out of here. Mm -hmm. And I was telling him, and he's like, oh, no, that's good. Like, that's a special kid. Like, like very, like, giving his energy to the yeah, baby. Yeah, because you were pregnant. When, yeah. yeah, when I was interviewing him last. Yeah. And then he passed. And, of course, his relationship with Jorge. And to name him Ermius, I feel like not that, like, it's just, there's just things that are just there's energy weird, there. like, there's yeah, energy connections. There. Yeah. But, like, you can't deny it. Like, exactly. that kid was, what's crazy is, Luis Ermias was meant to be named Luis Ermias. That connection was meant to be there. It's just crazy that even though Nip, Nip's not here, he had that moment with the baby. With the baby. Yeah, yeah like, so. Yeah. Even they before, bonded before they yeah, even that, met. That's exactly. A trip. That's crazy. All of that's a trip. Oh, I want to shout out. Look, sorry, I'm doing my shout out to my I had a shout out to my bad dream. Oh, she's actually my god sister. So her, she, my mom and my dad are her godparents. So she's my god yeah. sister. She lives on like a border town. Um, and her mom is a border agent, and then I think her and her husband are border agents too. Not border agents. Um, border patrol. The ones at the line. Mm -hmm. Is it border patrol? Border patrol. But I think border patrol and ICE is two different things. Yeah, it's different. But so border patrol. Still they're the like, homies. Like to me, they were always chill. Like. Wait, who? My my god sister. Oh. Oh, but they listen, and I just wanted to shout her out. Okay. Shout the whole family listens. Her and her dude, who are Border Patrol agents. So shout out to all. They're both all your. Yeah. She, she followed her parents. Um. Yeah, footsteps. Well, okay. I think in that area, it's really. Oh, like, there's the one She lives in like Cal Calexico. So Calexico and Mexicali is really like. What yeah, else? it's kind of like, it's kind of like TJ so, San Diego. Yeah. So they're trying to keep Mexicans out? Or maybe the they country? could be helping some shit go down. Well, I just uh, know they were always chill. Yeah. Like. All right. You guys, we gotta love them too. Well, I, nobody, I haven't said anything. I'm just, I'm just asking questions. <laughs> We're just asking. Wait, questions so there's the one that, like, when you're crossing back the border, they ask you for your like passport and ID yeah. and shit. Like, what's your name or where do you live or business some or them, pleasure? Some of them are are like food. Dude, just look at my name, way. Some of them are just too like, like they 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 don't even know how to approach people. One, it'll be like, why are you here? Because I came to visit. Why? Cause I could come back and forth. Yeah. Well, who? My friends in the car. Who are your friends? The ones in the car. You got papers? Yes. Let me see. Here. And then they look and go like, when's your birthday? You have my ID. You just looked at my name. My face came out. I was born in Los Angeles. You have my address. But why? Because I wanted some chips from Mexico. How many chips? Like, full. Damn. I get it, big dog. You feel me? You got to do your holly. I ain't tripping. They, they figure it out regardless. Oh, so <laughs> they figure it out regardless. But some of them just don't have a sense of humor. Like, And I met one of them that was like, what's up, fool? That's so I fuck hard. with your videos. Oh, that's hard. Who you with? Boom, boom, boom. Let me see IDs. If you have more than one, even better for me. You're making my life easier. Dope. And one of the homies had a green card. <laughs> some of my homie Jerome, he has his green card. Mm -hmm. And he was like... I asked if all of you guys were citizens. I was like, we are. He has a green card. That's not a citizen, no. Can he come back and forth? Yeah. I think that's a citizen. <laughs> and he was just like, man, y'all have a good day. Like, I'm just constantly fucking with him. There's people yeah. that are weird with him. I'm like, dog, I understand you got to do your holiday. We don't have, always have to agree either way. You're still a human. I'm still a human. Just don't touch my chips. Facts. In the back. My Mexican chips, you know. I'm, I'm, I heard that. I, the Doritos from Mexico, gas. Super gas. The like the Lay's type chips, like it's just like regular potato chips, gas. I love going to Mexico for the liquor. It's so cheap. The, that too. Oh, not really so much. You don't think so? I don't know. I feel like girls, girls don't need to know prices of liquor. I think that's more a guy Facts, thing. Facts. Yeah. It's just some shit. Oh my god! You guys I just thought about that. It's facts. It's facts. Yeah. It's facts. It's facts. Did you see that meme that says like, "What do you drink?" And then it said like forty two. It's like, "What do you drink when you pay?" <laughs> I can buy forty two. Nobody said. You look at me. So you can't I know you can buy forty two. Yeah. This is your. This is your studio. I know you can Yo, buy some forty two. I was with a beautiful young lady the other day, and I ordered some forty two, and she was like. I'm sick of this. I've had too much of it. 
Wow, <laughs> damn. You ever text him? Oh, like, yo, okay. these shots cost me a hundred dollars. <laughs> Try again. I'm seeing this as a guy perspective. Where do you drink so much 42 at? Okay. Where, where, where did you just go? Picolandia? How much they don't sell 42 there, big dog. <laughs> The the buyers and homies keep it active. They want that taco vodka. You feel me? Get it cracked. And taco I love. Vodka? You know. You know what I. You know what I have for the first time. Even though I've been drinking for years. I had sparkling water, with jarrito, and Don Julio. Never had that. With a, it's really good. That sounds pretty good. Oh, Johnson. no, no, I'm not. I'm not. Johnson, Josh is, he, yeah. he, he's boring. He's boring. Yeah. He goes to bars in San Gabriel Valley. I, I understand. Uh. No, I mean, gotta, he doesn't. He doesn't expand a little. You know I mean? No, he said that's easy. That's light work. He said. No, I'm not. I just, I'm just saying. Josh wakes up and instead of coffee, he drinks fireballs. So. That's what wrestling yeah. do because it's so cold. Josh there. has yeah. been to the bathroom six times since we started recording yeah. this podcast. Wait, <laughs> how, how'd you feel when she said I had too much? Were you like, oh, maybe I should give him back? No, I was just like, sure. wait, each soda 42 is 100 bucks. Yeah, they're like, like 60, at restaurants, like 50, 60. Like Good yeah. fucking luck. We gotta, you know, what I could buy with. <laughs> you know what I learned? I'm gonna keep it a bug. This is what I learned. I told some girl last time, I was like, I drive a Nissan, but my bank account drives a Trackhawk. Okay. I respect and she that. was like, huh. I respect that. That's and a bar. That's like, a bar. And she's like, because she goes, like, So you don't work? And I'm like, No. <laughs> she's like, What do you do? I'm like, This. <laughs> <laughs> and, she's, and she's like, but she's tripping out, right? And she, yeah. She's like, you buy a lot of shoes. And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, but you don't work. I'm like, I do work. But she's trying to like process like. Yeah. Well, you, know what? I wanna, you know what? I want to actually give people a tip right now. Please go do that. bag business shit. Uh, for whatever reason, the law was changed this year to where you don't have to pay the $800 oh, LLC hey. yes. licensing Every May. fee, right? Well, it's not. It depends when you open Wait, it. Wait, when you open it. But usually it's $800 a year just to file mm -hmm. uh, your business. Like your LLC. taxes, yeah, yeah. With, with yeah. the, yeah, there's a fee with, with uh, the state. Yeah. For whatever reason, this year, they waived it. So you can literally open an LLC with $70. So go to either, like, a tax. A, and that was this year, right? For, that was for this year. It I should have waited because last year, <sighs> yeah. yeah, like. So you can save $800, start an LLC. And you know you have it for the rest of this year. Then you have to pay eight hundred dollars next year, or maybe they might reduce it, or something. or they might just keep it like that. Who knows? Who knows? Hopefully but they do. Take though. advantage for the rest of this year. Uh, I was prepared to play eight hundred dollars when I walked in there, and then the dude was like, "Actually, they waived it." And I'm like, "Say less, mm -hmm. seventy dollars." Oh, and then the fee that they take, you know, for that's filing your shit. Yeah, yeah, nah, for so sure. like if you have a business that's like really like where you where you feel like you know you could do something with it or just like even if you have a dream make sure you, the LLC is important Super like important. i own duno's world y'all can never rosecrans vic llc y'all can never me? right letty mm -hmm. shout out to you guys shout out letty because <laughs> letty, right, letty, letty fucking had an llc when i was one. Oh my gosh <laughs> was they called the llc's back then i don't know right, i need a piece so yeah. bad close to uh, guys, episode 11 wow, so they're as... dirty they're pretty really? proud of us oh yeah God. This you guys, I was like, oh, what else can we talk about? Ten G? Ow, that hurts so bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, some, somebody on, somebody That on. hurts so bad. Do you know what did you do? Oh, oh you broke it. it. I fixed you broke it. her neck. Ow, no, that hurts. <laughs> All right, I fixed it. All right, you guys, it's been the brown bag. Make sure you follow, like, subscribe, comment, comment. Thank you guys for 10K followers on Instagram. Yes, and, and 11K uh, subscribers. Yeah. Oh, on really? YouTube. On, on YouTube. YouTube. And our TikTok. YouTube it's boom. like at almost 50. Update wow. on the merch, September 1st. That's when it will be available for everybody. Yep. And our playlist will be updated this week. Yay. Yeah.